That took me, what, 30 minutes? And I already have a new Guard Dragon combo without Agar Paint resulting in the exact same board without Agar Paint. So we're gonna go straight into it and I'll show the deck profile at the very end. If you're new to the channel and if you love Pendulums, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to flood my channel with a bunch of new Pendulum combos without Agar Paint that still end on a bunch of negates. So trust me, Pendulums are still the best deck. Literally, Agar Paint's ban did nothing. It literally did nothing. You would literally end on the exact same combo. The exact same combo with the exact same Pendulum Summon regardless. So I'm just doing a test hand here just to show you guys how to do it. This, in fact, is a bad hand. You, the only good hand you have is really just Mastery. And the cards you draw off Allure are bad. So it's like, this is not a good hand. This is literally just a bad hand. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it with any single hand. So it doesn't matter whether you have Servant, whether you don't. It doesn't matter. So pay close attention. I'll explain the deck choices and card choices at the very end of the video. So Allure, we draw the gate zero pro poison. I just this is just trash. Obviously, Dragon Servant's good. And with the deck, the way the deck's built, 40 card perfection, so turbo e. I love it. Uh, you're gonna resolve servant every single hand with 23, 24 spells that we play out of 40. But it's amazing. If Pen Call gets Ash here, we're totally fine because Servant gets to resolve. You even have to banish the gate zero because you didn't really know how this will turn out in case you, uh, the Pen Call got ashed. So we don't even get to use Electrum's effect. We're literally just sending a Guard Dragon with it. So even with even with Electrum basically sending nothing, oh, I probably should get Dragon Caller instead as well. But I'll show you guys now just how to do the combo even without Agar Pain. And it's actually very simple. This is straightforward here. So I'm going to fast forward the part. I think that's the interesting part. So here you're going to send Dark Worm. And this is where it gets interesting. So don't get rid of Guard Dragons from the deck. You still do the exact same thing. All right, so you just do a normal Pendulum Summon, okay? There's a normal Pendulum Summon. Typically, level 7 is going to come up from Time Gazer, so it's going to be even easier over here. But it doesn't matter. Gate 0, like, you're going to get Gate 0 from all your combos. So you're always going to have a level 7, right? Or you're always going to have a level 7. Harmo, whatever it may be. Now you're going to want to LP like normal. Like, this is typical, right? It's very typical. You're just a very typical Guard Dragon combo right now. Uh, Electrum and Harmo. Very simple. A triple Burst, the exact same as normal. But this is where it gets interesting. So LP Special Distrudo, right? Now, instead of Triple Burst and Distrudo going into the Agar Pain as you did before, instead, you're going to go into Absolute Dragon with the level 7. Typically, it'll be over here, but Harmonizing can always bring it out. You can Pendulum Summon it or whatever it might be. Then you go into the Absolute, which is a Dragon, so you can still summon it. And then Absolute and Triple Burst will then go into Saryuja, summoning a Vortex under LP Zone. We did not utilize this before because there would be no space for it. And you didn't have space in the extra deck to summon Saryuja and, uh, and, and uh, Hot Red. So we didn't even utilize this before because there was no space in the extra deck. But now that Agar Pain is free, you have the space and you kind of need to to summon out the Vortex. So now it's kind of like Saryuja. If you notice it, now it's kind of like Saryuja is Agar Pain. Because you utilize Absolute Effect to summon the Vortex. And Absolute was the free Link Fodder that turned into the Agar Pain, essentially. So Sayusha is kind of like an Agar Pain summoning the Vortex. And now, you go into Seal. And just like that, you have the exact same combo. The Destrudo comes up from the graveyard, summons up this Dragster, be mind blown. Literally the exact same combo. All you need is just a level 7. And you have the exact same end board. Literally the exact same. Perso Aether, Persona come out with Seal, and you the five interruptions, and that was a shitty hand. Now we're going to go straight into the deck profile, and this is the deck profile. It is mastered, and this is the exact list I'll be using on PPG Columbus to destroy people. I don't care if people even look at my deck. I'll change the side deck probably, but it's amazing. Triple Servant, Triple Chronograph, Double Curtain Razor. You still need all the turbo cards, and Chronograph and, Sir and Curtain Razor equal spell cards. So they give ser your six servants... The free way to get out Jackal, and it's absolutely mandatory to play that. I would like to play a three curtain razor, but it's enough. It does not conflict with Dark Worm. You only have three foolish burials. Double Dark Worm. You don't, again, because Agar Pain's bad, you don't gotta play trips. You have Dragon Call, you have Distrudel. Double is enough. One Harma, one Poison, one Oath. They all have their own reason when Dragon Call. You need to play two level sevens in case you banish one. If Desires, which is debatable to take out now, but you only, I only play two of it because uh, with now that the level sevens are more important, it, it's. You still have a bunch of level 7s because you still have gate 0. You only need one. Distrudo is a big part of the combo. But even in the situation where you do banish some of these, especially the Distrudo, which is the only thing you really care about, to be honest, even if you banish them, it, it's okay. Desire is okay to take out, but I'm still going to keep it because it's just that good going second. But after siding, I take out two Desires for Zephyr Nui and Divine Strike because you don't want to banish the Distrudo and the Divine Strike. Anyways, we're going to keep going here. Two level 7s is important. One Caller, one Pit. 
Only two, two is all you need, just in case like you banish one, you you have the other. And you have bunch of other signs anyways, like I said. One Gazer, Gate Zero. Then you're gonna have the Endymion and Jackal, just one of each. If you banish it, it doesn't matter, you just get the other one. Desudo, Mare Mare, Foolish, Double Shrine. I'm cutting all ratios out so I don't draw doubles. Uh, so it's basically one foolish double shrine. If you open one of each, one since the suitor, one since dark room going second, it's amazing. Triple mastery. I was debating cutting mastery to two, which sounds kind of crazy because you already have six servants and you don't care about searching the endymion. You really just want it to have five servants. But uh, I'm still keeping it at six because servants is that damn good. But after siding, I do take out a, a, a sixth servant, just so you guys know. Also, after siding, I do take out a majority of the magician engine if I'm putting it, if I'm facing a combo deck. Because you need to see these seven. Uh, so if I don't play a combo deck, I just keep them. I'll explain siding in a later video. Four pendulum calls. I'll like to play five, but magicians are not that good. This is enough. You don't need to play more than four in 40 card deck. And because you're playing nine draw cards. One upstart double desires, again, is not that good anymore. It's still great. Obviously, draw two. But you don't want to banish all like four level sevens and just not be able to do the combo. Triple lure, triple into the void. And I take them out for Divine Strike and Zephyr Nui. Because uh, if they get banished, it does hurt your combo a lot. Triple Poly, Double Sphere, Double Lava Golem. The reasoning behind this is this is seven cards against Pure Thunder Dragon, uh, which is going to be, uh, you're going to see a lot of it, which is uh, the easiest win ever now. But you have uh, seven spell cards that add. So you have Triple Mastery, Double Pen Call, Double Duelist Alliance. You take out those seven for three Poly, Double Sphere, Double Lava Golem. And now even if they go double a uh, Titan, Double Glosses, you destroy them. Even if they don't, you still destroy them. So it makes the, the Thunder matchup the easiest matchup in the planet because nothing in your deck searches now. No, there's no dead cards. So all the spell cards don't, like, there's, like, full Dark Room adding, uh, adding Gate Zero means nothing at all. There's nothing that the Thunder that hurts you now. It just, you Blitzkrieg through that matchup easily. And against Sky Striker, the deck inherently is an amazing matchup because of Big Boy and Demion. So the two decks that are going to be mostly represented, you just destroy them. Uh, traps are going to be very viable as form right now. A lot of decks are going to play a lot of traps. So you saw Triple Dynamo, so a Double Reboot. That's five side cards. It might even be too much, to be honest. You still gotta play Triple Wrestler because uh, for the blind side. Now that Dengirsu is not a card, Pearl Poison becomes a lot better now because Dengirsu won't be that viable anymore in the format. So Triple Dino Wrestler is gonna be good uh, as well. Uh, double Reboot, that's five. Five, you don't wanna throw too many cards in that are good against back row decks. I debated playing one MST instead of a third Dino Wrestler because uh, you don't wanna see doubles unless it's like it's a broken, broken, broken card. But uh, uh, for now, I think Dino Wrestler is fine at that. Divine Strike uh, and uh zephyr nui is still great because uh people will continue to play dark ruler no more especially because thunder will still be a little prominent even though the deck's trash all the prominent decks are going to destroy salamangra you have a great matchup you have a great matchup against everything this format uh electron b cop lp triple burst Sayuja, seal absolute vortex so the only thing real change you have to put absolute Sayuja into the deck now over the agar pain and you just have to take out like an extra card one dresser one yazi one incredible standard you must play man by the way uh, the pseudo Mayman is not debatable. It's literally the best card of the whole Magician engine. If Mayman was not a card, if it got banned randomly, I would not even play Magicians. I only play because it's accessible by Harmonizing the Time Gazer and the pseudo. It's so easily accessible. I don't care if you draw it. Uh, going first, you side it out. But you just need a game one. Uh, people don't understand. Game one, game two, game three are completely different. But you need to make sure you don't auto lose game one. And Mayman ensures that you don't. Uh, one Phoenix, one Unicorn. Cerberus is nice, but not necessary. Boral Sword and Boral Load. Boral Load makes Leonard Dragon matchup even damn easier. So that's the deck. The deck's honestly amazing. I personally love it. Uh, in fact, this was the this is the exact list I'll be taking to PPG Columbus to destroy people. The side deck is the only thing I'm debating on because I have to kind of debate which uh, decks are going to be prominent. You still don't know. It's not a defined format. So the side deck will, will definitely change depending on how the format goes. But how I predict the format to be, I think this will be the correct side deck. Uh, the extra deck, I was not, there's literally nothing I want to take out. I believe the extra deck is absolutely perfect. There's nothing whatsoever I do want to take out. An option you could do is play Romulus and Dragon Ravine, because Romulus will get you a free Dragon Ravine from this combo instead of Saryuja. But uh, that would mean that Time Gazer, remember in the combo Time Gazer was the level 3 over here. Uh, if you got Romulus instead of Saryuja, that means that uh, Time Gazer would have to be uh, level 7. Uh, because then you'll have to summon the Vortex to that zone over there, right over here. Romulus could be decent as well, because you're going to get a kind of a free plus one. But I'm going to play with Romulus to see, maybe get a free plus one by this in the future with Dragon Ravine. But anyways, guys, that's the deck. If you guys got this far, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a, a Romulus combo after instead of Sayuja, because I do think you can plus one. In fact, I... 
I think, yeah, well, that's amazing. I think instead of Romulus, I think we actually will just be going, instead of Seizure, I think we will just win with Romulus to get a free Dragon Ravine from the combo anyway. So that's the video. Hope you guys like it. I'm literally going to do a quick change over here right now because uh, Romulus and Seizure, and no, Seizure is just better overall. The Dragon Ravine is going to be kind of useless because you do nothing with it, but it's just something to note. You can kind of get a free plus one, even though you're not really going to use it. Anyways, hope you guys like the video. See you in the next video. Peace. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Don't forget. Peace.